And this is Rock On Racing, bringing the most up-to-date live stories on horse racing here in Republic of Korea. I'm your host, Joe. We're at the spring season here in South Korea and at the peak of blooming season. And along with this beautiful weather, we have 10 races prepared for you this afternoon. Well, first race we'll look at is race four at Busan. To talk about it more, here next to me is Alasta Middleton. Hello, Alasta. Hello, Joe. Yeah, it's Good Friday and a big, big day of racing at Busan. We're going to focus on just a couple of races today. And as you said, we're going to start with race number four. Without further ado, let us have a look at runners and riders for race four at Busan. Race four Busan, 1600 meters, and it is maiden race with 11 runners. Yeah, so almost a full field here. We, we do have a maximum of 12 for these kind of races. And so we're going to have a look at three of the standouts. I've identified those as Rising Prince, Cappy Run, and the wonderfully named P. Well, now, top choice is Rising Prince. I still remember this last race. Um, he dead heated for that, but it was a great finish. Right, it was, yes. Let us have a look at the race. March 17th, Class 4, Rosanna same distance, over 1,600 meters. Right, well, this was a 12th career start for Rising Prince. It was his right. third try at a mile and his second, third place. He went pretty well, actually, Rising Prince. He uh, was prominent throughout. Uh, and while the three others did run on just a little bit better in the end, uh, it was another strong performance, and it should stand in, in good stead for today. Well, Yone Kurasatoshi, the jockey, is on board once again. And now... Jockey and trainer seems like they're very confident about this race. Yeah, so Toshi got a good book of mounts this weekend, starting off here with Rising Prince. Uh, apparently, Rising Prince has been working in the swimming pool in preparation for this right. race, We're just at to the track get work. his yeah, just to get his stamina up, just to see if he can stay on just a little bit better mm -hmm. this time. Well, he's just trying to overcome this last fade, and with that exercise, that will be a great news. We'll have to see how he works. And now, next up is Cappy Run. Cappy Run, this one, has earned the most prize money, but... But first time at this distance right. today, it, it is going to be a challenge. Yeah, let's have a look at him. March 24th, race three over six follows, shorter than the race we have here. Yeah, indeed, his last race was over 1,200 metres. He actually came off the back of a couple of disappointing uh, runs, so he wasn't particularly well supported in the market. Uh, but he ran OK. He finished in, in fourth of 11. He finished off the race quite nicely mm -hmm. as well. Uh, now, as we mentioned, he has never run at further than 1,300 metres, but he's got Daryl Holland, uh, top jockey, on his back this afternoon, and there's no reason why he can't stay on. Right. And now we're going to look at the track work for Cappy Run. And Cappy Run, according to the trainer, he's likely to speed up at the last follow. So expect it to get better here with a further distance. And now lastly, we'll have a look at Pichichi. Pichichi, this one, much more experienced at this distance, but came fifth last time, also improving results as well. Let's have a look at Pichichi. Right, and Pichi Chi has only raced four times in total, but two of them have been at this distance of a mile. He didn't do much on his first try at the distance, it must be said, but he did improve here a little bit for fifth. Uh, he was ahead of uh, my favourite name, Ol Muli Maritgun, who also goes here again. Uh -huh. it, it, it wasn't a great race, it wasn't a great performance, uh, but it could be interesting to see if he could improve here. Right, still at the finish for this race, we have Pichi Chi coming in just for fifth. There. Yeah, he, and he, he ran on. He ran on okay. It was an improvement on previous performances, uh, so I think it is probably worthwhile giving him a try today. Uh, and here he is looking at the track work for PTT. Yeah, again, in this kind of race, you know, we've got a couple of standouts. We're looking for those who could improve, mm -hmm. and maybe PTT is one of those. We've just looked at three best runners here at this race. Are there any others that we need to look more at? Well, we just mentioned the, the one that I love pronouncing. I'm going to have a go at pronouncing him again, uh, Bolmuli Maritgan. Uh, he ran six in that race behind Pichichi. Right. Uh, again, it wasn't a strong race, but improvement is perhaps uh, possible. Another one that might be considered uh, would be Malibu Ruler. Right. Uh, he finished nine lengths behind Rising Prince last time. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, he does have the potential to improve. 
Premier Le Marican expected to be the surprise here, and also Rising Prince with much of chance. Well, tough contest here is ready for you at race four, Classics Maiden Race. We're soon to find out, so stay tuned with us here at KRBC.